Welcome back to Boozin' Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm going to use this lemon, some of this rum, to make this the rum sour. But first, this. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this. Now, the history of the classic sour dates back to the 1700s, and most of that history relates specifically to whiskey. Now, the first ever recorded recipe comes to us from Jerry Thomas's Bartender's Guide from 1862. Now, when did they add rum? Who knows, really? Who cares? Now, rum was cheap and affordable during the 1700s and 1800s, and it was readily available in the North American colonies. And most rum is generally made in the Caribbean and the Americas, although, the Philippines and India do count in there because they grow sugarcane and manufacture sugar. And it's no surprise that people got inventive and tried to make it easier to drink. Yes, the early stuff was a bit rough, but we don't need any more history because we're here for a rum sour, so let's get into this. Now the first thing of course I need is my mixing glass. And of course, use your choice of rum. Use a rum that you enjoy. I'm using Fortress Rum here. It's a very good uh, rum that was given to me by one of my viewers. And each rum you put in will give you a slightly different new ounce in flavor. You know, different with uh, every alcohol you have. So I need two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now, and this is a very nice rum, by the way. So the next thing, of course, I need is lemon juice. And I need one ounce of lemon juice, preferably fresh if you can get it. Now, of course, the last thing we need is a little bit of simple syrup. And this is our one-to-one uh, -one simple syrup. And we need one ounce of this or 30 milliliters. Looking pretty good so far. Nice, simple, easy. And of course, I need an egg white. And you can save that egg yolk if you want. You can use it to make things like brioche buns or something. But again, that's totally up to you. I'm just getting rid of it because at this moment, I'm not making any buns. So what we're going to do is we're going to shake this first. We're gonna do the dry shake, and then we're going to shake with ice so that we can chill it. And you wanna make sure when you do this that you seal this good because with the egg white and as soon as the citrus is, it'll start to cook slightly and you have to shake it hard to emulsify it. So you gotta make sure you hold that uh, seal really good. So what we want to do now is we want to add a little bit of ice and we'll shake this again for another 10 to 15 seconds. So what you want to do then is you want to grab your rocks glass and we're going to add a little bit of ice. Very nice. And now we're gonna strain this. I'm not worried about fine straining this at all because I wanna make sure that we get all the nice foam that goes with this. Looking pretty good. So we're gonna let this sit for about 30 seconds. While we're doing that, we're gonna cut our garnish. I need an orange. And I'm gonna use half an orange slice. But that's not the only thing that I'm going to do. The next thing that I'll do is, and I'm going to do this more for the aromatics, is I'm going to use three drops of Angostura blitters. And I'm not gonna use the dasher because you can take the dasher out. But what I am going to do, never mind, is just pour this in here. Oops. I am going to use my little eyedropper and give myself three little drops. And what that will do is allow me to use my pin, <laughs> my pin that's stuck in my mat, my pin and just draw little triangle 
rotation around my ice cube like so. Put that back on like that. Give this a bit of a cut. And here we go. Look at that. That is a rum sour. It's nice, it's clean, it's crisp. I have a nice little bit of foam in there. Look at that. Smells really good. I get a little bit of the, the citrus smell from the uh, orange, of course, and a little bit of the aromatic bitters from the Angostura bitters. Oh yeah, this is a good sour. You know what? Get that rum you like and make this right now. I know you'll enjoy it. Now here's the thing. You do not have to add the egg white. The egg white is totally optional. I do it for texture and look and it allows me to draw these nice little designs on top. You don't have to. Mm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. But if this is your first time to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. That way we don't have to worry about YouTube's algorithm trying to feed it to you. But if you don't like good rum and you don't like a good sour, hit the thumbs down button twice and we'll see you next time. Now the first ever recorded history of a uh, recorded recipe of a sour. The history of the classic sour dates back to the 1700s and mostly relate. Now the first ever recorded history of a uh,